Hello, can you believe the sitcom One Day at a Time was released 48 years ago? Many of us grew up attached to the TV screens. I think it would be fun if you and your family sat on the couch and watched this movie again with the entire cast of then and now. Where are these actors now? Who made it to Hollywood and who passed away? Find the answer in our video. Valerie Bertinelli was born on April 23, 1960, in Wilmington, Delaware, USA. She played the character Barbara Cooper in the sitcom when she was 15 years old in 1975. She is currently living happily at the age of 63. In a massage parlor. <laughs> it's not fair! I mean, nobody cares if a guy goes all the way. But near the end, yeah, we just... I. I wrote about it in the book because I just thought it was something that people needed to hear that no matter what you go through. Michael Lambeck was born on June 25, 1948 in Brooklyn, New York, USA. He played the character Max Horvath in the sitcom when he was 31 years old in 1979. He's currently living happily at the age of 74. Dear Mr. Horvath, <laughs> Enclosed, find a check for $50 for your article, Electricity. Our shocking friend. It has given birth to many, many, many recognizable famous people who before they were, were just coming to us from their respective schools or homes and, you know, the Robin... Bonnie Franklin was born on January 6, 1944 in Santa Monica, California, USA. She played the character Anne Romano in the sitcom when she was 31 years old in 1975. We regret to inform you that in 2013, she passed away at the age of 69, leaving us deeply saddened. I'm not uptight. The guests are due to arrive any minute and I can't find my pantyhose. You got them on. No, I have peach on. I hate peach. What I'm looking for are the... That's where I wanted to be. I never wanted to be anyplace else. I wanted to work in theater, musical theater and everything else in New York. I loved it. I fell in love with the city. That's where I wanted to be. So you weren't... Shelly Fabres was born on January 19, 1944 in Santa Monica, California, USA. She played the character of Francis Webster in the sitcom when she was 34 years old in 1978. She is currently living happily at the age of 79. <laughs> she uh, twisted her ankle when she broke her shoe. Yes, and this wonderful He-Man came to my rescue. Oh, Annie, if you don't want him, I'll take him. Um, yes, yes, I was, the, the whole process was really uh, interesting because I was sick for a number of years when they couldn't figure out what was wrong with me. Glenn Scarpelli was born on July 6, 1966, in Staten Island, New York City. He played the character Alexandris in the sitcom when he was 14 years old in 1980. He's currently living happily at the age of 56. It's just that I don't want Barbara to get upset by all these little details. Right. In other words, hide the cake. <laughs> I don't really know. I mean, if this had happened to me, the Yes. We really did. Yeah. You see, the thing about the film that we really wanted to do, first of all, we wanted a project together to act again. Because mm -hmm. we were on one day at a time, but we weren't on the same episodes, mm -hmm. and we just wanted... Pat Harrington Jr. was born on August 3, 1929, in New York City, USA. He played the character Dwayne F. Schneider in the sitcom when he was 46 years old in 1975. We regret to inform you that in 2016, he passed away at the age of 86, leaving us deeply saddened. From the building? Uh, just... You? Yeah, we're gonna have some people in from the building, huh? Well, you know, I guess I should go down and check. Kenzie was, and she, I mean, she, she met and, uh, and cavorted with Mick Jagger when she was 16 or 17. You know, I mean, she's... Nanette Fabre was born on October 27, 1920, in San Diego, California, USA. She played the character Grandma Catherine Romano in the sitcom when she was 59 years old in 1979. We regret to inform you that in 2018, she passed away at the age of 97, leaving us deeply saddened. I'll buy you out. You set the terms. Do you hear what you're saying? Don't listen to what she's saying. I mean it, Francine. And it was marvelous. We never did establish what my character would be. Sometimes I was flighty and silly, and sometimes I was a serious lover. Ron Rifkin was born on October 31st, 1939, in New York City, USA. He played the character Nick Handris in the sitcom when he was 41 years old in 1980. He is currently living happily at the age of 83. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, what happened with Henderson? Nothing. He just blew up and left. We lost the account? Well, not exactly. He said that we still have a fat chance in hell. <laughs> I just... <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Hey, look, look, everyone's talking about uh, Trump's visit to the Middle East. What do you think about this? I know you guys... Mackenzie Phillips was born on November 10, 1959, in Alexandria, Virginia, USA. She played the character Julie Cooper in the sitcom when she was 16 years old in 1975. She is currently living happily at the age of 63. We're a lot more sure of where we were going than you and Chuck are. Were you scared? Petrified. So am I. I don't know if I'm ready. To the power of the disease of alcoholism and addiction, the power of drugs and alcohol to twist something lovely like a father-daughter. Peter Jason was born on July 22, 1944 in Hollywood, California, USA. He played the character Cam Randolph in the sitcom when he was 34 years old in 1978. He is currently living happily at the age of 78. Uh, Mr. Randolph, I, I thought you were this, uh, this uh, lovely, luscious woman. <laughs> Schneider, you ought to get out of the basement more often. Uh, yeah, uh, come on in here. I, uh... Thing, it's not, it's not gonna happen. Yeah. So, you get the audition. You, you memorize the lines. Boyd Gaines was born on May 11, 1953, in Atlanta, Georgia, USA. He played the character Mark Royer in the sitcom when he was 28 years old in 1981. He is currently living happily at the age of 69. Thousand dollars. Everything else cost a thousand dollars. There aren't enough patients in this city to, to pay for that spit sink there. <laughs> you know, in the old days, they just use a bucket. The directors, they were really wonderful, but the, the thing that was instilled in me was the idea of a, a life in the theater. I mean, to be able to actually do it. Susan Richardson was born on March 11, 1952, in Coatesville, Pennsylvania, USA. She played the character Eloise in the sitcom when she was 30 years old in 1982. She is currently living happily at the age of 71. Look, Babs, it's really important that I feel my music right down to the bare pores. Which <laughs> reminds me, Marcus left a pair of old jogging shorts at my place. You need leads a very simple life. No computer. No computer. No TV. No TV. No internet. No internet. You're None of that. You're living like a hermit almost. Yeah, basically. Richard Masur was born on November 20th, 1948 in New York City, USA. He played the character David Kane in the sitcom when he was 27 years old in 1975. He is currently living happily at the age of 74. Come and talk to me about it. I mean, why didn't she listen to her mother instead of some kid? Hey, that's perfectly natural. I mean, advice from a boyfriend always takes precedence over mother, God, and country. Actor on, on, in the business, as far as I'm concerned. She's been working since she's two and has never stopped. Um, I... Lawrence Pressman was born on July 10, 1939 in Cynthia, Kentucky, USA. He played the character Professor Barr in the sitcom when he was 41 years old in 1980. He is currently living happily at the age of 83. I'm late. Well, you'll just have to forgive me. You know how we professors are, absent-minded. I drove halfway here before I realized I'd forgotten my car keys. Palm trees. So uh, uh, they made me very nervous and very aware of it. But that show is, I had done the original one with Jack Lord. Uh, Chuck McCann was born on September 2nd, 1934 in Brooklyn, New York, USA. He played the character Bill Belly in the sitcom when he was 47 years old in 1981. We regret to inform you that in 2018, he passed away at the age of 83, leaving us deeply saddened. Trophy by your friends. Um, Bowler of the Year. 1954? <laughs> we got a deal on it. <laughs> it was all here, pal. We did it all here. I was downstairs in the cafeteria and I took the creamers out and I put oh, them on my arm. Are? Let me know who's your favorite character from the sitcom one day at a time and share your thoughts on the deceased actors by leaving your comments under this video. Remember to support us by liking, subscribing to the channel, and pressing the bell to receive my upcoming videos. Thank you and see you again.